The Lighthouse, written and directed by Robert Eggers, who gave us The Witch. That was a really good movie. Uh, this movie is just shy of two hours. It is rated R, and uh, it stars just two actors. Uh, we have Robert Pattinson, who's going to be our new Batman and was in Twilight. Very good actor. And Willem Dafoe, an amazing actor. Uh, that was the Green Goblin, and I just saw him in Shadow of the Vampire with Jeremy Irons about Nosferatu, a, a good movie for Halloween. And this is a good movie for Halloween. Um, it's, it's horror, it's crazy, it's funny, it's quirky. Uh, the first thing you should know, before we get into the plot, uh, it's black and white. And not only is it black and white, but it's uh, in a different aspect ratio. So basically, it's a square. So take this out, take this out, make this black, make this black, and then you're right in there uh, for an hour and 50 minutes. And at first it was noticeable, but then it, I, I didn't notice it, and it was just fine. And did it add anything? I don't know. It was unique, having uh, just a square to look at. Uh, it's beautifully shot. Uh, the score is pretty good. The sound effects are very noticeable, uh, particularly the lighthouse makes sort of like this uh, foghorn sound. It's very creepy, and it sort of, you know, makes the lighthouse seem that it's alive and very cool. So we have Pattinson and Defoe on this island. The foe being the veteran and is running Pattinson all around the island doing chores and frustrating him. Meanwhile, Pattinson will not let, I'm sorry, Defoe will not let Pattinson anywhere near the top of the lighthouse or the light itself. A woman Defoe is abnormally protective of this light. So uh, they get stuck on this island longer than expected. Uh, the winds change and uh, then the craziness really ramps up. And you're just along for the ride. This movie is is a ride. What is it about? Uh, Willem Dafoe's character mentions that, uh, that the doldrums, uh, when, when guys have the doldrums, it leads to bad things. I sort of interpreted what he was saying as that uh, idle hands are the devil's workshop. And these are two characters that might have some baggage. It's up to your interpretation to figure out who these guys are, what their motivations are, what's real, what's not real, who's crazy, are they both crazy, is one crazy, is no one crazy, is this really happening? and uh, to lead to a conclusion at the end that I won't spoil. But it reminded me of sort of an Edgar Allan Poe, uh, two stories. The Telltale Heart uh, reminded me of that so sort of theme, and there were definitely aspects of uh, the raven, uh, and you'll know why. Those, those birds on the island uh, harass uh, Robert Pattinson for sure. So this is a crazy movie. If you're in for something unique and different, you don't want to be spoon-fed anything. You just want to sit back and enjoy the craziness. Uh, this is it. This is, this is a good movie. You should see this one this week for Halloween. So I recommend it. I, I'd like to see more movies like this. Uh, we live in an age where Disney controls everything and uh, things are seeming a little more cookie cutter and safe. Uh, this film doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't care. Uh, it's made by people who care about their film and if you want to enjoy it, great, but they're not trying to make a film uh, that has a mass appeal. They're, they're really focused in on telling a very unique story and putting, putting it on screen in a very unique way. So my props to Robert Eggers, good job. So, all right, well, go check it out. If you like different things, I recommend The Lighthouse. I think you'll like it. Let me know if you go see it and what you think. And, and you know, in the comments section, tell me what your interpretation is of The Lighthouse. All right, well, with that, I might have some uh, treats this week for Halloween. So everybody be good, and I'll see you on the new.